Hey everyone, Andrew here, and today I'm gonna do things a little bit different. So I got some really good feedback about making a more authentic voice within my videos. So today I'm getting a little outside my comfort zone and I'm trying to like move as far away from a script as possible. So if things are super messy or kind of disorganized, please bear with me. It's all a process of me finding that like authentic internet voice, which is more difficult than you might think for me at least. So today I wanted to talk about sleep because in my opinion, sleep is like the best high performance enhancer we have. You know, it boosts your memory, boosts your mood, boosts your energy, it boosts your life. I mean, what can I say? I hate not getting enough sleep. Watch to the end to see how sleep can increase your productivity and get you a little further towards your goals, dreams, missions, all of the above. Before we get too far, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I am really trying to help as many people as I can through this channel. So any support, any love would be much appreciated. Okay, so sleep. I've tried a lot of different things when it comes to sleep. One of the biggest misconceptions I've had actually about sleep is that everyone should sleep at the same time. And let's kind of use an analogy of cave people. And we're all sleeping in a cave. If we all went to bed at like 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock rolls around and a bear strolls in and starts munching away on people, that's not adaptive <laughs> to our survival. In contrast, if and when people sleep at different times, when the bear strolls in at 11 o'clock, it's fine because the night owls are still up. They could say, yo, there's a bear about to eat us. We should probably move. So why is this important? Well, maybe some of you have the kind of false belief like I did that everyone should fall asleep at the same time. And you're forcing yourself to try to hit that 10 o'clock sleep time and it just doesn't work. In the book called The Power of Now, I haven't read it, but I've heard it's good. <laughs> Why would I say that? I guess this is what unscripted looks like. So Michael Bruce wrote the book called The Power of Now and he talks about chronotypes. So a chronotype, there's four of them. It's basically like a category and it tells you your ideal time to go to sleep and your ideal time to wake up. Now me, I'm the boring one, I'm the standard one. I'm the bear, so that means I should go to bed around like 10, 11, and wake up like seven-ish. Pretty much what society tells us we should be. And I have played around a lot with this and I do find that my energy, my mood, my sleep quality, it correlates with that time. So it works for me. I'm not gonna dive in too deep on chronotypes in this video, but if you wanna take the quiz to find out what chronotype you are, check out the description box. I'll leave the link there for you and go check out which one you are. There's four, bear, dolphin, lion, and wolf. So team bear over here, let me know in the comments which one you are. In my opinion, learning about your chronotype is great because it kind of gives you an idea of when you would want to go to bed and when you would want to wake up. And it could be very different than what society tells you you should be doing, should be doing. So let's say you want to change your schedule, whether it's because you know your chronotype, or you've got a new job, what have you. So what I would do, this isn't super backed in anything I've read, it's more my experience, so take it with a grain of salt. Let's say I wanted to join the famous 5 a.m. club. I would take the wake up time, 5 a.m., and then I'll count backwards nine hours. Yes, I sleep a lot. <laughs> so that gives me 8 p.m. And then I'd actually go another step further, which gives me 7 p.m. So this 7 p.m. is the time I would actually turn off all of my devices. It serves a kind of double purpose. First off is the obvious, it reduces all that light exposure, which is great for me. The second thing is it actually helps me go to bed. I save this hour, I do the obvious things like brushing my teeth, getting into pajamas, and any other non-electronic related chores I have. If I have some spare time, I'll read a book, all that fun stuff. But the cool thing about this is I get bored. <laughs> like, I love reading, I really love reading, but there's only so much reading I can do right before bed and I don't have anything else to do because my electronics are off. So by the end of the hour, I pretty much have nothing else to do but fall asleep. It's kind of genius if I do say so myself. I found this kind of hour of no electronics my best way to really defend this bedtime and really make sure that I can consistently get to bed 
without delays, without pushing it back, without getting sucked into three more episodes of Grey's Anatomy. It, it really has helped me in get this consistency in going to bed. And then as a result, I'm able to wake up at my alarm. I'm able to be more disciplined without having to fight as much to get out of bed, which is really nice. Okay, so now for the hard part, the dreaded part of this video, waking up at your alarm clock the first time. Over the past three years, I've had times where I've waken up at 7 a.m., 8.30, 10.30, 5 a.m., I've experimented. I've been really adventurous with the times I wake up at. The method I've found the best for being able to wake up at your alarm, at your first alarm, is actually from a video I found from Anna Akana. And I added a bit of a twist from it, but it goes like this. I'm gonna read it to you, so we're on script. <laughs> Don't sue me. So it's from Anna's video called How to Wake Up Early. I'll leave a link below if you wanna watch the full thing. I love Anna, please subscribe to her. If you're subscribed to me, you should subscribe to her because she is like one of my big inspirations in life. So before bed, you wanna set your morning alarm and you wanna set a series of alarm on your phone to wake you up that night. So for example, if you go to sleep at 9 p.m., you're gonna wanna set alarms for say 9.15, 9.17, 9.21, 9.23, 9.25, 9.29. Set these little alarms about two to three minutes apart over about 15 to 20 minutes. It's recommended that the alarms be spaced unevenly. I would also caution you, make sure not to leave one alarm like super far off after the other ones. Cause the one time I was in what felt like the deepest sleep of my life only for the alarm to wake me up. <laughs> I was so ticked off that I couldn't fall asleep and then I was just stewing in rage not being able to sleep. And the whole point of this is to be able to sleep better. So don't make my mistakes. Don't do it, just don't do it. So now you go to bed. It's 9 p.m. you go to bed. Put your phone out of reach and lie down. When your first alarm starts to go off, treat it like it's the alarm in the morning. This is where I kind of remix things a little bit. Spring out of bed, like literally jump out of bed and turn off the alarm. Do five jumping jacks or some sort of physical activity. And then once that's all done, go back to bed. Repeat this for each of the following alarms that go off. The idea behind this is to train your mind and your body how to wake up when you hear the alarm. And it's kind of a bonus because pretty quickly you're going to hate the sound of your alarm, so you're gonna wanna turn it off even faster. That's just about everything I have. I'm gonna shoot you with some rapid fire bonus tips before we go. Get blackout curtains or use an eye mask. Block out as much light as possible. Keep your room a little bit colder temperature wise because the body tends to fall asleep better in a colder environment. Me, I like it things a little toasty, so I don't quite follow this rule. In general, most humans like it colder. Maybe I'm an alien. Am I an alien? Mm. Wear earplugs so your cat rattling the door at 3 a.m. doesn't wake you up, although it still might wake you up. Uh, I don't wanna give this advice because everyone gives this advice and it's so generic, but exercise every day, and especially cardio, and you'll be more likely to fall asleep better. Oh, I hate being so conventional, but you know it works, I know it works. Tell me you'll do it. Lie to me, say you'll do it, even if you're not gonna do it, please. Ooh, do yoga, especially before bed. It releases that tension, releases some toxins in your muscles, drink some water, great tip as well, especially after yoga and before bed. You might have to wake up to go pee, but your body will love you. Keep the bedroom for sleep and intimacy, move TVs, anything else that's not bedroom related out of the room. If you do want some electronics, turn on your blue light blockers or get some blue light blocking glasses. I think it's recommended for like three hours before you go to bed to block out your blue light. And last but not least, my kind of theme for today is to have fun with it. Don't be so rigid, make mistakes, set alarm clocks in the wrong places. You know, use earplugs, don't use earplugs, search for your earplugs in your bed under your covers for 10 minutes every morning. Like figure out what works for you is probably the piece of advice I want to encourage, instill, what's that word? Admonish, I think, is the word. On to you. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Me trying to pull out fancy vocabulary. Have fun. You only live once, you sleep every night, but you might as well make it fun. <laughs> 
I don't even know where this video is going anymore. So that wraps up about everything I have for you right now on sleep. Although I have a couple more ideas. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything else about sleep, falling asleep, performance that you want to know about. I do have some good news. There's a couple open spots for my performance accelerator program. So if you think you could be a good fit, go fill out the form and I'll reach out to you, see what's going on and if we could be a match. And what else? Again, remember to like and subscribe, <laughs> please. I am on a mission to improve the quality of my content for you and to be able to help as many people as I can. I have a freebie down below, it's like, 40 plus ideas of morning routine activities that you could do. So if you're stuck on ideas or activities that you want, go check that out. It's completely free. If you want a video on morning routines, leave me a comment. I've also experimented a lot with those. I think that's everything. This is the part where I say, have a great week. I will see you in my next video. And remember above all else that you are enough. See you later. Um, was, did you hear that? I haven't had breakfast, so I am super hungry.